From comments over court cases to old legends trying to take him down, here's why Nick Kyrgios slams the older generation. Kyrgios is one of the biggest stars in modern tennis, and even though he's clearly a solid tennis player, he's had some problems with people in the tennis world. Kyrgios said that some of the older tennis players from Australia, who used to be top of their game, are always trying to bring him down and thinks they have a sick obsession with making him look bad. He's also said in the past that he feels like an outsider among his fellow Aussie tennis players. One thing you can't deny is that Kyrgios is an inspiration to people who've been through tough times and had bad things said about them. When he's doing the other stuff, of course I don't like him. Just putting his head down and carrying on. He wants to prove that you can still be successful even if people are trying to bring you down. One of the older Australian tennis players, Pat Cash, said some really negative things about Kyrgios after this year's Wimbledon tournament. Cash accused Kyrgios of cheating, manipulation, and abuse. This left Kyrgios clearly upset and frustrated. The only person who has stood by Kyrgios is another Australian tennis player named Leighton Hewitt. Kyrgios says he doesn't get any support from the other male tennis players in Australia. He went on to say it's really a shame to see that they're not supportive of him, even though he's doing so well. Former world number 5 Daniela Hantakova has also made comments that have troubled Kyrgios. According to reports, Hantakova says teenage tennis star Emma Raducanu was losing the respect of her peers after a string of losses. Ouch, that's gotta sting. Emma's most recent loss was a second round exit at the Miami Open. Although she may have had a few losses lately, she's still a rising star in the tennis world. And who knows, maybe she'll come back stronger than ever and prove all the naysayers wrong. But from the court to the courtroom, Kyrgios has been attracting all kinds of attention for all the wrong reasons lately. He was accused of assaulting his former girlfriend and had to appear in front of the ACT Magistrates Court at the start of this year, where he pleaded guilty to shoving his ex-girlfriend in 2021. While his request to dismiss the assault charge on the basis of mental health was denied, Magistrate Beth Campbell ultimately decided to drop the charge. Kyrgios was deemed to pose no risk of reoffending, and the court felt that the facts of the case proved that the alleged assault wasn't very serious. Despite these personal problems, Kyrgios recently did extremely well at Wimbledon. He made it to the finals after his opponent, Rafael Nadal, dropped out of the tournament because of an injury. This was an incredible accomplishment and proves Nick's still at the top of his game. After his performance at Wimbledon, a newspaper, the Daily Telegraph, said Nick making it to the finals was the tournament's worst nightmare. When Kyrgios was asked about the headline, Nick said it's unfortunate, but comes with the territory. The Aussie tennis stars had a tough journey to get where he is today. Growing up in Canberra, Nick was forced to train on an old tennis court that was in rough shape. But now, he's on the world stage at Wimbledon, and people are still making comments about his performances. He just wants to be an inspiration to other kids who have been through tough times and had negative things said about them. He knows what it's like to be brought down from different angles, but he wants to show that you can still be successful and achieve your dreams. But here's where things get really interesting. As we all know, Nick's never one to shy away from a bit of drama, and he took to Twitter to vent his frustration, writing, What's with old retired players giving their opinion on our stars now? I think Nick's frustration with Hantakova's comments is perfectly reasonable. To say Emma Raducanu's losing the respect of her peers seems not only harsh, but inaccurate as well. Recently, a viral video featuring former world number one tennis player Andy Roddick has caused quite a stir. In the video, Andy teaches some of his fellow tennis stars, including our favorite Aussie firebrand Nick Kyrgios, how to throw a tennis racket without hurting anyone. It's beneficial to throw it face down, so like this, right? It doesn't go anywhere, you're not going to hit anyone. In his educational video, Andy points to some of the recent incidents that have left many observers scratching their heads in disbelief. There's Alexander Zverev, who broke his racket into the umpire's chair down in Mexico. And let's not forget about Novak Djokovic, who fired a ball and hit an umpire's throat at the US Open a few years back. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. But hey, let's not be too hard on these guys. We all have our bad days, right? Maybe they just need to take a deep breath and count to 10 before they let their tempers get the best of them. Or better yet, they could take a lesson from Andy and learn how to throw a racket safely. 
Who knows? Maybe it'll catch on and become the next big thing in tennis. I mean, we've already got the underarm serve and the tweener shot, so why not add safe racket throwing to the list? In any case, let's hope that these tennis stars can keep their emotions in check and focus on playing the best game they can. And let me tell you, Kyrgios is one player who could use a few lessons in racket throwing etiquette. In fact, he was recently fined a whopping $20,000 for unsportsmanlike conduct and another $5,000 for his colorful use of language during a match against Rafael Nadal at Indian Wells. Plus, it's not exactly the best way to win over fans or earn respect from fellow players. So come on, Nick, keep your head in the game and your racket in your hand, at least until the match is over. Tennis legend John McEnroe says Kyrgios is one of the most gifted players he's seen in 10 years. That's right, folks, McEnroe is not one to mince words, and he's not afraid to give credit where credit is due. In fact, Kyrgios is the central figure in the brand new Netflix docuseries Breakpoint. And in the first episode titled The Maverick, a series of figures in the sport were asked to describe him. And boy, did they have some great things to say. According to world number 14 Matteo Berrettini, Kyrgios is probably the most talented player from our generation. That's high praise indeed, and it's not hard to see why. Kyrgios has a unique style of play that keeps fans on the edge of their seats and he's not afraid to take risks and try new things. But let's be real here. It's not only Nick's talent that makes him so interesting, it's his personality too. I just want to remind everyone that I'm pretty good. <laughs> he's a real maverick, a rebel who's not afraid to speak his mind and ruffle a few feathers. And you know what? We love him for it. Tennis needs more players like Kyrgios, guys who are willing to push the boundaries and bring a bit of excitement to the game. But when it comes to working out who the GOAT is, Kyrgios has some more opinions on the greatest of all time debate, and he's got some pretty strong feelings on the matter. But before we get to that, let's talk about some of the criticism that Kyrgios has faced in the past. According to former world number one Andy Roddick, Kyrgios doesn't take tennis seriously enough. He's like a part-time player, Roddick said, who treats tennis more like a hobby than a profession. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. But you know what? Kyrgios has proven that he's got what it takes to be a serious contender on the court. In fact, he had his best season to date in 2022 and even came close to winning his first Grand Slam title at Wimbledon. I was going to say your first Grand Slam final here at Wimbledon. Has it made you hungry for more? Absolutely not. I'm so tired. So maybe he's not so much of a part-timer after all. Now let's get back to the GOAT debate. It's a topic that gets fans and analysts alike spinning in circles. But Kyrgios has no problem stating his opinion. In his view, Roger Federer is the greatest of all time. And you know what? We can't really argue with that. Kyrgios has some pretty strong words for Federer's competition too. He believes that Nadal and Djokovic don't even come close to Federer when it comes to talent. And you know what? He's probably right. Federer's skill set is something special, and it's no wonder he's considered one of the greatest players in the history of the game. So, from comments over court cases to old legends trying to take him down, that's why Nick Kyrgios slams the older generation. 